we are back. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Lagan. This is Grounded. I want to get a little business out of the way to start the video off. I'm still making small land. I'm still making Valheim and I'm still making seven days to die videos. But whenever Grounded has a big update like this, it is my baby. It's going to take away most of my attention from everything else I'm doing. But I did manage to get up a seven days to die video and I will be continuing with the small land and with Valheim, as soon as I'm done with everything this update has to offer. Hey, the pupa leather is done. Give me that stuff. So just a heads up on that if you're enjoying the other series. They're coming out a little bit slower. I know, I know. But I'm working on it. And as promised, a look at the new bedroom. So we got a lot of new stuff yesterday when we unlocked coziness level five. And as you can see, there's the toenail chandelier. I've got four of them set up inside of the base. And boy, don't they look good and gross and maybe you noticed maybe you didn't but check it out that is a look at the pine cone roof I'll tell you what we can activate handy net and you get a better look at it outside as well that's what it looks like it's pretty nice uh one problem is though and hopefully the devs see this and realize they did not put a pine cone attachment to the chimney so i went with feather because it's dark but as you can see it doesn't line up it really is an eyesore so they'll get it they absolutely will get it but for now, that's what I have to do with the chimney. Got this nice pine cone armoire, but look at this. Oh my, all the storage space in this, plus the chest. You guys remember all the storage space in the chest, plus this new little dresser I've got here. And it also has a lot of storage space. This is the new bed. This is a flower petal bed. And when we go to sleep, we'll get a buff applied to us. Uh, we'll go over that in just a little bit because I do not want to sleep in the bed yet. Instead of a mirror, they put a little smiley face picture on the uh, small dresser. Also, there were a couple of new vases in the Cozy 5 uh, stuff that we unlocked. There's one of them right there. Here's another one over here. And then probably my favorite, and boy, was this expensive to make. This actually took Supreme Whetstone to make. Uh, so there it is right there. That's a pretty cool looking one, but I only made one because uh-uh. Uh-uh. And if you take a look down in the bottom right hand corner of the screen, you'll see that my coziness level is a level five throughout most of the bedroom. It drops to a four over here, but everything in the back part of the bedroom here is a coziness five. Now, there were some changes to the update. That's right, an update to the update within the update. Let's go over a couple of them that were important. The first one being these muscle sprouts will now only grow two by default so all of these you can barely see them because i just started them but all of these will only have two just a day or so ago they were all four every time you put one in you would get four back now you're only getting two back by default however you have a chance at green thumb um, if you use rotten food or spoiled meat um, as your fertilizer you could get a bigger one to grow and then you could chop it and get two out of that so we have the potential to get four so in this planter i use rotten food rotten food spoiled meat and then nothing so we'll wait till the end of the episode and we'll come back and check on these and see how they turned out the other update yeah. now the other new update within the update is and it's a good thing that we fought the wasp in the last video because now you'll know what i'm talking about the wasp we're applying a poison, a venom, and a bleed damage. Now they're only going to apply a poison damage by default. That is, of course, unless the uh, wasp drone buffs the regular wasp, then they can do a bleed and a poison, but never again venom. You won't see venom again, which now means the antidote, the waspidote that we learned, will be effective. And here's the recipe for the waspidote. Takes one shell, one wasp paper, and spider venom. It gives you poison cure, poison resist, and it heals you. You'll still take some bleed damage from time to time. That is if the drones buff the other wasp. So maybe try to take out the drone as quick as possible. But there you go. That's going to be a lot more helpful. Also, I found a place for yoked girth. I think this is the perfect place for him inside of the armory. Goes, goes in here very well. And I may even do some changing around in here and put a few more statues in here. But for now... Yoke Girth has found his home. There is a couple of things I want to do to start out today's adventure. I'm also thinking this could be very helpful against the wasp. You could probably knock him out of the sky really easy with this. The uh, the sour staff is just too slow of a projectile, but this might work really well. So 
I think it's only at a level six right now. Let's take a look at that. Yeah, it's a level six mighty. So we need to upgrade this thing. And let's see what we need to do that. We need 10 mighty globs. And we can go to a level seven. So let's do that right now. And then we want to go to a level eight next. I need five mighty jewels. And then 10 mighty jewels to go to a level nine, which I think is probably smart to do. We need some supreme whetstone and some twinkling shells. I'm going to need some more twinkling shells if I'm going to do this. And some more supreme whetstone, obviously. Since I have the recipe to make supreme whetstones, why don't we take a rhino, a black ox beetle horn, take it over to the dupe machine. Instead of duplicating supreme whetstone, it's actually cheaper to duplicate rhinoceros horns. I keep calling them rhino horns. My bad. Black ox beetle horns. The Black Ox Horn costs 1,000 to duplicate, whereas I'm pretty sure the Supreme Whetstone was 1,500. So let's get to duplicating. There it goes. Let me tell you, this dupe machine came in pretty handy uh, when I was building those toenail chandeliers. Toenails are pretty rare around the world. There's a few spots where you can harvest them, but you have to wait days and days for them to grow back. So I was able to dupe a few and finish off those chandeliers pretty easily. There we go. I brought uh, one black ox horn and now I have eight. So cost me about seven grand to get to eight, but that's fine because what else am I going to spend my raw science on at this point in the game? Not much. Pretty much have everything that I need. Uh, I do believe there is a new chip though, but we'll get to that when we get to that. We're slow playing. We are slow playing this update. I am having too much fun on Grounded and I just don't want it to end and hopefully you all feel the same way. And I had five more of these horns in my chest. So I have 13. I definitely have enough to not quite make what I need, I don't think. But I can now make, I think it was 13 of those whetstones, supreme whetstone. I don't think I have enough twinkling shell to make the 10. Yeah, I'm one twinkling shell short. Plus, I believe I needed 20 supreme whetstone to make a total of 10 of these mighty jewels. But anyways, I'll just craft what I can for now. And we'll get that fire staff up to level nine at some point. Let's see, I gotta grab my, yeah, this is it. I need to grab that helmet, and I'm gonna need those fin flops. All right, I got the fin flops on and the bubble helmet on, and the water we go. There's a few things on my screen that are annoying me. I was doing some quests, and I need to get them done. I gotta kill some water fleas and five diving bell spiders. I'm almost done with the water fleas. Let's see if we can find one real quick and get rid of them. Well, here's a diving bell spider. I shall stab it to you. Yeah, don't you dare get poked. Now, there we go. There we go. Okay. Three more of those guys. Where are some freaking water fleas at? Oh, there's one. I see one. No, I don't. Yes, I do. No, I don't. But I see two more diving bell spiders. And they shall be killed on this day. No. And yes. 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 Here we go. Ha-ha. <laughs> two more. Here's one. Poke. Poke! 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 Hey, it's a water flea! Hey, buddy. Goodbye, buddy. Look at that, a thousand raw science. Just like that, we got our money back. Well, one of our money's back from one of the black ox horns. Just gotta find one more diving bell spider and that stuff will forever be off my screen. I can't concentrate when it keeps popping up. It drives me insane. Besides, so, you get a look at the bone trident. I don't think I ever used this thing during my regular playthrough. I made it. I don't think I ever used it very often. There's the last one. You're the one. I'm here for the raw science. Got it. Nice. 500 more. Okay, cool. All right. I've got some plant slurry going on in here. And I've got some mushroom slurry going on in here. I'm going to make some mushroom bricks. I'm going to use the plant slurry. Catch me an aphid. I forgot to mention the update within the update. There is now a wasp paper lamp. I'm not sure which tier of coziness you would unlock this on. Uh, because we are, they just added it. And there's also a wasp paper partition. I think I'll actually build this lamp. Because doesn't that look adorable? There's a little spider attached to it. A little spiderling. So let me get the stuff we need. Pine cone, wasp paper, and sap. And it's pretty much all my wasp paper going to be gone. I have to kill some more wasps. And I guess we can turn that on. Yes, we can. That's pretty cool. I don't need two light sources right next to each other, though. There we go. That's better. It looks better by itself on the table. And we'll just take some of those mushroom bricks I just cooked up, and we'll do this, and maybe that. Let's add those in. And then we can put the plant slurry in here, lure an aphid in, 
make it our pet, then trap it in there. And we're going to use that aphid today to try to get ourselves a new trinket. But this will be a lot easier during the daytime. So I say, let's go to sleep in our brand new bed and see what that buff that we get will do for us. Good night, everyone. I sure hope nothing crazy happens while I'm sleeping. Oh my god. The wasp are free in the backyard. So now we'll have wasp everywhere. It's kind of like when you plug up the haze canister for the first time and then you have infected bugs everywhere. Should have wasp all over the yard now. And also you saw that a new location has just opened up. That giant compost bin or chest box, whatever that thing is in the back upper backyard, is now open. So we've got a whole new area to explore. And the reason that happened is because we destroyed that one hive in the previous episode and it said the nest has been disturbed. That was the warning you got right there letting you know if you go to sleep, you're about to unleash hell in the backyard. And that is exactly what we just did. But look, we got something new called Comfy Defense. Sleeping in a luxurious spot grants an all-day bonus to defense. That's what I'm talking about. So, you know, we take a little less damage for the entire day. All because of this wonderful flower petal bed. You won't get that in the other beds, but make the flower petal bed and you will. All right, that looks delicious. No wonder aphids can't resist it. Just throw that there, throw another one there. Good, I'm spilling it all over the ground. Try again, come on, there you go. And we'll throw another one right there. All right, now we just kind of back off and we wait patiently until we get ourselves an aphid. Come on, go inside, get your treat. Made it just for you. There we go. The wall. Oh, I don't think I turned him into a pet. Yeah, he freaked out. But he's stuck in there now, so maybe he'll eat in a second and become our pet. Oh, it says I have a new aphid pet. Where'd he go? You're not him. You're not him. You're not him. You're not him. Where is he? Oh, there he goes. How did you get out of the pen? Explain it to me. Hey, name's lagging. I'm gonna put a I'm gonna put a helmet on you. Give you a little more defense, and then I'm just gonna beat the crap out of you. Stay close, alright? You following me? That's actually good. Can you walk across the bridge? Is that something you're gonna do for me? Look at him. He's just following me around. Adorable. Get up here. Come on, this is your new house. He is coming. Alright, cool. Come on. Come on. Oh, there you are. Well, ain't that cool? Maybe I can build a pin for you in here. And you'll stay put. Maybe. I almost forgot there's a little pet house here. There we go. And we can just put that there. And I think we can deposit our pet. There we go. I think that means he'll stay around the house now. And hopefully will not keep teleporting to me because that's what he's doing. Here, I'll leave you some food. And I'll be back in a minute. I got some things to do first before we beat you and get our trinket. Probably name it something. I'm going to call you Bag. That's your name. Your name is Bag. And the reason your name's going to be Bag is because your daddy's little punching bag today. That's right. Ooh, the big punch bag. You are. Chirp, chirp. Okay, I need to head over to the toolbox in the upper backyard because there is something that's going to be super helpful in trying to get this new trinket that we want to get. So let's head over to the toolbox. Okay, let's see. How do I get in here? I don't even remember, but this looks good. Uh, that's right. I'm gonna hit my hat, aren't I? So I think we have to go like right here Then we just have to jump like this Take some doing but eventually you get in there we go and then down we go and actually you know what this is exactly what I'm looking for We've got some gum here, and it says requires explosive So we'll try a bomb and as you'll see in a second. That's not gonna work Doesn't work which is kind of crazy but it does have the bomb emblem. So I think what you need is a tier three bomb. There is a tier three emblem next to the chewing gum. So the only tier three bomb I know about would be the bomb arrow. So let's try shooting it. And that makes a total difference. And there we go, got some gum pieces here. And check this out. 
sticky fingers trinket. Here it is right here. It's steal item. Attacking creatures in melee grants a small chance to steal resources that they can drop. Stacking multiple sources of this effect allows you to steal additional items. So if we put this trinket on, which I have on, and we combine it with Rascal Rogue, we are going to get a better chance at our aphid dropping what we need him to drop. So now we're going to go back home and go punch bag in the head over and over until he gives us the new trinket. First, maybe I kill a wasp or two? See how that goes today? Hey, guys. Woo! Oh, you can get under here. I was hoping you couldn't do that. Okay. All right. Take it easy. Take it easy. Oh, ow. Okay. Everything's fine. Try this wasp dote out. Yep. That killed the uh, poison effect. I should have some resist now to it. Ow. I took the drone out. Pretty sure that was the drone. Nope, it was just a regular wasp, I think. Blocking with the staff is a little weird because right after you shoot, it won't let you block. There's like a cooldown before it lets you block. Yeah, it takes a good second, second and a half before it lets you block. All right, come on, hit it, hit it, hit it. Oh, God, took out their, I took out their thing. They're not going to like that. Oh, God. So I could get the uh, poison and bleed now because it seems like she just screamed, which is probably how she buffs the other. Ow. The other wasp. Yeah. Take that, drone. Got you again. How about a big one? You want a big one? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Burn! Burn! Wasp drone down! Easy as that. Now it just leaves me in a one-on-one -on -one situation with this guy. Fire staff might be the way to go. Get out of the toolbox. You're not supposed to be in here. This is for people. Where'd he go? You know what? I think he's underneath this. Uh... Yeah, he's underneath it. Let me hop down. Hey, there you are. Woo, right in your stupid face. Oh, God, I keep falling everywhere. I don't want to fall inside that black uh, widow layer. That would not be good. Make your move. There we go. There I go. Got you figured out, don't I? Ow. Die. Much better, much better. Okay. There we go. And now we can get some more paper because I almost ran out of that when I made that lamp. That is exactly what you give me. So these hives right here are actually like wasp outpost or whatever. Their main hive is located inside of that thing right Have over there. Peek. That's where we'll be exploring on a future episode. But for today, we still got something to get. Let's go get it. Okay, bag, I'm gonna make you a helmet. This is the little fire helmet. It's gonna protect you a little bit while I'm punching you. Sorry. All right, let's put the little helmet on him. All right, where'd you go? Oh, you got a helmet on you. Here, show everybody. Look how cute you are. Put your little fire ant helmet on. That's gonna protect you when I bonk you in the head. Do I have any heal bosses? I do, okay. Where did you run off to? There you go, you ready? All right, it's gonna sting a little bit, but it's for science. Okay, did you give me anything? Nope, oh, I gotta take off my Mask of the Mother Demon or I'm gonna poison you to death, my bad. Slight oversight on my part. Here, take one of these. That'll heal you right up. A uh, bag? Bag? What happened? You okay? You sleeping? Um, look dead. Oh yeah. Oh dear, he's dead. Bags two. There we go. This time I saved my game. So I can load back right here. Just in case I overdo it again. Okay, nothing. We got raw aphid meat. Alright, hold still. I'm gonna heal you up. 
Got some raw aphid meat. <laughs> Maybe one more. There you go, all healed up. Now let the punching begin. Why are you being so stubborn? Give me what I want. You're a tough little cookie, you know that? Give me what I want. And I'll stop punching you. It's that easy. I know you've got it. Give it to me. Oh, we got an aphid honeydew. So we collected two items from this aphid. And so I think what we should do now is probably reload. And that way I'll get all my heal bosses back as well. And we can go for another two items. We only have a chance of getting two items from them. One from the rascal rogue and then one from that trinket we just got. Aphid meat. Honeydew. Okay. Reload. Aphid meat. Aphid meat. Reload. I got it! Oh, it happened! Oh my god, that took so long. I had to reload maybe 15 times. So, that took uh, probably a good 20 minutes or so. It could probably go a lot longer than that, or maybe super quick if you're lucky. But we just got the new trinket. This one's called the Speed Droplet. Sprint distance plus the quickness. Now it's time for some science. I've got a start line and I got a finish line down there. So, with no mutations on, without any kind of buffs at all, this is just your default sprint speed. I'm going to see how long it takes me to get from here to that other wall. Okay, this is just going to be a rough estimate. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So roughly seven seconds. Now let's put on Natural Explorer, which makes us a lot faster. And let's see how long it takes us to get from here to there. Ready, set, go. One, two, three, four, five. So you take about two seconds off there. Again, this is very rough. So with Natural Explorer on and Aphid Slippers, let's see how much quicker it is. And the Aphid Slippers gives you the quickness. We can run faster. So we had about five seconds on our second attempt. Let's see what happens now. One, two, three, four. A little closer to four seconds that time. And that is with Natural Explorer and the aphid slippers on. What if we were to use our new speed droplet here, which gives us sprint distance and the quickness plus the aphid slippers plus Natural Explorer? How much time? So we had about four on our last attempt. Here we go. One, two, three and a half. Three and a half. So you're pretty quick. I mean, really quick with this one. Look at me go. So if you like speed, get this new trinket, pair it up with everything you just saw me pair it up with. I don't believe there's a smoothie that makes you go quicker, and I don't think there's a food item. You guys will correct me if I'm wrong. This might be as fast as you could possibly go. I don't know that there's an armor set that makes you quicker either. But we are flying around. This is insane. So a cool new trinket in the update called Speed Droplet. Get it if you can. So the last thing I want to do today is check on these Brussels sprouts, mussel sprouts that I threw in here. And this is the one that I use the spoiled food on. I also use spoiled food on this one. So green thumb definitely kicked in here. Did not here. And this is the one I used the rotten meat on. Didn't kick in here either. And this is the one that was default. So by default, you only get two mussel sprouts per plant now. And unfortunately, green thumb didn't work there, and it didn't work here either. But it did work here, so it says I can chop these. But what happens when I chop them? Oh, it turns into two, so you can get four again, which is how it was originally, but they did nerf it a little bit. So you can get up to four. Where'd it go? I kicked it in the water, I think. Oh, there it is. Found it. So you can get up to four per plant. I would go with the, uh, the rotten food that you get from chopping down like apples cookies and things like that throughout the backyard and i think that's going to do it for today's episode on the next episode we did open up that compost bin in the upper backyard so i think that is exactly where we're going on the next episode there's going to be so much to discover in there a whole new area with all kinds of stuff inside including a boss but if you enjoyed today's episode please do me a favor drop a like on it and as always i can't even control myself and as always it's been your boy lagging 24 and I will see you uh, next time.